sunrise over Bryce Canyon. Gorgeous. All right, everybody. We are just starting on Navajo Loop um, and headed down to Peekaboo Loop. Apparently the Peekaboo Loop is supposed to be really pretty. So we're gonna go check that out. It's very cold today. It's in the 20s, but it's bright and clear and sunny. So this is just what we wanted. So we're gonna go enjoy it. All right, there's Thor's hammer. It's a big hoodoo right there. We're here, starting up Peekaboo Loop, getting a snack. Someone just got my bar all soggy. Here, you got some saliva there. <laughs> no, that wasn't the part that had your saliva on it. Oh. You see my whole bar. Hmm. We are apparently way more out of shape than we thought. It's also, also at 8,000 feet. That's true. We'll just blame the altitude. We're wearing a lot of gear. It's true. We need to do more hiking. We've been good about doing lifting, less hiking. You know, if we ever actually start hiking, we're gonna have to pack less glass. Never. One can't simply just bring less lenses. What if you need one of them? I'm bringing a Stanley thermos size lens just in case we see a bird that's stationary long enough for me to switch to the lens. Could happen. Oh, I just broke out here on top of the hill. Quite a view. I like coming to the Red Rocks in off season. It's a lot more peaceful and quiet and not nearly as many people. Which is your favorite rock so far, Summer? I really like the face of the canyon with the little... Oh yeah. Good uh, texture. Those are cool. Hooters that are forming. Yeah, another million years, those will be pretty dope. This place has like, I think it's around 300 days a year where it's above freezing during the day and below freezing at night. And so that constant freeze-thaw cycle slowly erodes these rocks and Makes the hoodoos absolutely gorgeous out here. I can't wait to get back and see how some of these macro shots turned out. This is our latest lens acquisition, and so far, we're both really liking it. Yeah, it's a really good lens. Yeah, I got the, ended up with the, the Sony uh, 90 millimeter macro. I like the, the focus clutch on it. It's a bad motion. I like the focus clutch, you know? Uh, <laughs> It allows you to go from um, AF to MF. Yeah, the focus ring slides forward and back and makes a really easy to way to swap from focusing uh, autofocus or manual focus. Optically, it's gorgeous and yeah, I think it'll work really well for our needs. Just got to one of the vistas here. Hell of a view. That ridge way out there, I believe, is where the Fairyland Trail goes. I don't think we're gonna be doing that trail. It's a little far. We're nearly dying on this. Well, it'll probably be a four or five mile hike total, but that one's like eight. Definitely recommend Peekaboo Loop. It's very good. We made it around the loop. Three miles, done. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning here. Bright and early-ish, as in like 10 o'clock. We are busy getting all our crap packed up and get ready to go. Hmm. Getting them going, we decided to skip sunrise, as in we got our alarms off at the right time, woke up, looked outside, it was cloudy and nasty, and we went, went back, back to bed. bed. Yeah, So that was nice. Anyway, we're gonna hit the road here in a second and go see some more pretty things. Hello again. As you can see, we're outside. We're outside, we're not at the hotel anymore. We ran to the visitor center, we've got our stickers of fearless accomplishment. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, sh I'll show them off. They have these cool water bottles that have 
a pattern and then a little triangle sticker for each park and then you fill it out as you go, which I've kind of been doing with my water bottle. But my water bottle has way too many stickers on it and I can't really see most of them because I get especially bigger stickers. But this is just, each one has its place and apparently we need to go to a lot more parks. <laughs> a lot more snow on the rocks today. Yeah. yeah absolutely gorgeous. And the rocks, those are pretty too. Man, there's just no bad views in this park. It's just gorgeous. This is why you come to Bryce, or just Southern Utah in general in the winter. All right, I think we shot a few hundred pictures at the point there. So now we're gonna go, excuse me, try some of the Queen's Garden Trail. Let's see if we can see the Queen Victoria Hoodoo. 1.8 miles round trip. I think we can do it. We had a good rest, good night's sleep, so we shall see. This can be your 327th reminder, everybody, to get your butt out and see what your local area has to see. This is just in our backyard, basically. Four hours? Yeah. This is the largest concentration of hoodoos in the world. Right here. Alrighty, we made it to the Queen's Point? Queen, Queen Victoria, Queen's Garden? Queen's Garden, yeah. It's the Queen Victoria Hoodoo. It's pretty. I don't know if I would have specifically noticed it compared to any other hoodoo, but it's cool. This was a nice little hike. Yeah. Well, I suppose we should mosey. Mm -hmm. Better batter. We climbed most of the way back out of the valley. We're here exploring just a little bit of the horse trail. Somebody made a little snowman by that hoodoo. I'm downhill. <laughs> no, you don't get to do that. I just did. Oh. Kiss me. Mm. Mm. Oh, there we go. There we go. Almost up. Just a little said. bit further to go. That's what she said. That is what she said. Get it, Summer. Get it. Alrighty. We made it up. Successfully completed Queen's Garden Trail. 1.8 miles, 450 feet. Good job. Wonder why they call this Inspiration Point. No idea. Like, pretty underwhelming, you know what I mean? Like, basically nothing to see here. <laughs> Hello. We are attempting to figure out how the hell this thing works. That was like gas. That's not surprising. Put that there. You can always set it in the snow. That's true. <laughs> okay. Try that again? Yeah, because we want the fuel up top, not down here. There we go. 
All right. So we want to figure out how we're, uh, what and how we're cooking. There we go. That's better. Now we're cooking with gas. Literally. Well, do you want chana masala or mac and cheese? I don't know. Both sound pretty good. Let's go with masala. My parents are probably laughing at us because they've got their little freeze dryer. And yes, we realize that this is way try more try hard than we actually needed. So we could just zip down the road to a restaurant place, but. We wanted to try it. It's not the point. Yeah. Don't buy these if you have frostbite. You'll never get the damn thing open. Mmm, smells good. It's pretty much rice and chickpeas. Mm. All right, we got our water. And we'll do this so that when we spill it, we don't spill it all over ourselves. Mix the hell out of that. Now we wait double right so 15 minutes basically yeah alrighty well we have boiled our first batch of water in this thing got another batch going food's cooking did you set a timer yeah yeah we're gonna make some hot beverages and enjoy those while we wait for our food to cook the fearless sous chef here yes I am going to prep some hot drinks hot drinks tearing with gloves is hard where's the knife Camp cooking with John and Summer. Oh, oh, yeah, that's going. It seems like, well, Summer's getting tea. Um, John will get cider very shortly. Yeah, apparently. It at least boils fast. Alrighty. We are on the way to our first camp dinner on the new stove. And we've got our hot drinks. Ah, oh, cheers. cheers. You have to drink after you say cheers. I, I had to open the thing. So I can burn my mouth. Mm. Satisfying? Nope. Yeah. I think it's time for some dinner. Mm -hmm. Let's check this puppy out. We got more water boiling for more tea. Mmm, smells good. Why well, it's kind of cold. Should mix a little bit. That's the downside of letting it sit so long. Tastes good though. What do you think? Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay, we are going to let our mac and cheese finish cooking. Scarf mm -hmm. this down before it gets cold and keep going from there. See you in a minute. That was good. That was good. We did not mix it enough. The last couple bites were almost all spices, but that was very hearty and very tasty. So, would recommend. We have gotten our mac and cheese. It's kind of soggy because we probably put a little too much water and then all the cheese stayed curdled together. So it's mildly cheesed, watery pasta. It's like if the, it's like a whey sauce. Yeah. More than a cheese sauce with clumps of cheese. Yeah. Let's see how it is. I have a little clump of cheese. Mediocre. Mediocre was the uh, chana masala better? Yes. That's sad. How do you screw up mac and cheese? Simple, turning the cheese into powder. <laughs> well, mac and cheese usually has cheese Oh, that's powder. true, powdered cheese. They sh should have worked with Kraft. They tried to get too fancy. Mm-hmm. Here, you try it. Okay. Get you some cheese clumps. Hey. Mm. Mm hmm. Mediocre? Not that good. Yeah, this was fun. Liking the new stove. The pot's great. Hopefully we'll figure out how to use the stove a little better. We're gonna chill for a while and then we're gonna regroup for sunset, so. Alrighty. It's a really good thing we did food when we did because uh, we're starting to get the sunset colors. It's true. We accidentally timed that pretty well.
Alrighty. I think sunset is sunsetted as much as sunset's gonna sunset. So we're gonna go back to the car, warm up a little bit, let it get dark, and then see if we get any stars tonight. Alright. I can't see anything, but we were attempting to go shoot astrophotos. It is freaking dark and glorious. We'll see how this goes. <sighs> it's so damn cold out there. Yeah. It is. Well, the car thinks it's only freezing, but it is. Yeah, it's cold. It's at least in the 20s. With wind chill in the teens, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, we went out there, set up on the point. I think we actually got some decent shots. Okay. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, I didn't have a good like focusing aid or anything for the rocks, so we'll see if they're sharp. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, we are going to go head back to the hotel and warm up. So anyway, we'll probably see you in the morning and Good morning, everybody. We got here barely in time. Sun's just starting to show some color. There she is. Oh man, just in time. I think we are done at sunrise. I think we got some, we got some great pictures. Yeah, well, I think we're gonna head back to the hotel, regroup, and probably hit the road. Hope you enjoyed the video. I think we got some good pictures. Let's so, actually include pictures in this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll include pictures. I'm gonna stick somewhere at editing 2,000 pictures here. Only 2,000. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.